Hello, I'm back again with a new tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to create this card with glass effect using pure CSS. And I will also show you how to apply the transitions on hover. So what I have here is a div element with the class name glass. And then inside it, I added a test paragraph. First, we're going to do is to change the appearance to look like a glass. In order to do that, we'll need to add a background using RGBA so we can control the opacity. So let's use white. Then let's set the zero, I mean the opacity to 0 0.2. Then let's add a backdrop filter to blur it out for 5 pixels. Then let's also add border with the same RGBA and opacity there. Let's also add border ranges. Let's add 10 pixels there. And we can also add a box shadow. Let's use RGBA but black. And black is 0, 0, 0. And I'll set the opacity to 1. There. That's how easy it is to add a glass effect. Next, we're going to add a tilt animation on hover. First, let me put the div in the middle. So I'll set the position to absolute. Then I'll add top and left. 50% then I'll also add a translate a transform I mean so I can put it in the center so translate negative 50% then negative 50% there so we will add now an animation Let's name it tilt and then linear for five seconds and then infinite. Then let's add action to the tilt. So keyframe um, tilt and on zero percent, let's add transform. Transform, translate, 50%, negative 50%, and then skew y for 5 degrees. There. And for 50%, let's set this you to negative 5 and then at 100% just the same as 0% there so let's apply it on hover let's add here plus hover and let's move the animation to hover so there Let's also add a cursor here point for pointer. There. So the next thing we will do is to add a shining effect to this. So we'll add another animation, but we'll need to add um, a sudo element for the glass. So let's add the glass before. before and then content blank and then let's set the position to absolute and then let's add height I'll set the height to 340 so the height will depend on the height of the div so I'll just set mine to 340 and then the width you can also decide on the width so I'll use 20 pixels and then the background I should also use the RGBA 
So I'm just gonna increase the opacity to 3. And then let since it's too long, we'll add, and it's not on the top. So let's add here at top like forty percent, I guess. Okay, and we need now to rotate this or tilt this. So let's add a transform. Transform rotate. Date. Uh, let's set it to twenty five degrees. And then let's translate. Let's add translate. There. So what I'm going to do now is uh, um, move this uh, um, line or the shining effect to the other side. So uh, anyway, I'll need to add um, the filter. So it will look more nice. Let me just add, um, I guess here, let's add the filter to blur it. Blur, let's set the blur to one. And then let's also add a box shadow. So let's use this too. Mm, I guess we should use white. So let me just change this change this one and then let's add an animation so I'm gonna copy this one but let's name the animation shine shine it should also be the same linear five seconds and infinite then let's add action to shine So on zero percent, I need to rotate it. Rotate. I think we'll use this one. Okay, rotate to hundred eighty. I mean, translate it to hundred eighty. Hundred eighty, and then seventy. PX and on 50%, let's change this to negative and remove the 70. And then for 100%, it should be the same for the 0%. There, so we'll need, so for this to be at the back, we'll need to add, um, uh, let me see, uh, overflow hidden here. Then there. So let's also apply that animation on hover. So let's need let's add um hover for the before and move this shine animation inside this. There. So let's test now. There. So Finally, that we have now completed the CSS for the glass effect. This ends the video. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Mm -hmm.